On request of a Brooklet, Georgia resident, I spent an afternoon in Brooklet to get a feel for the town and to get reactions of the residents on these two videos I'm about to show you that have gone viral over the last 10 days. In the small town of Brooklet, Georgia, with only 3.1 square miles of incorporated townlands and home to approximately 1,520 people, one can imagine that if you live here, you might have met everyone in town at least once. Brooklyn is the quintessential little southern town with its many churches, friendly folks, and historic buildings dating back to 1899, now surrounded by new and modern structures. Typically, the third Saturday in August is the Brooklyn Annual Peanut Festival. This year, however, the event will take place on the third Saturday in September in hopes of milder weather. The festival is a culmination of parades, beauty pageants, and a 5K run. The small town lifestyle was rocked to its core recently. January 30th was another typical day of a neighbor helping a neighbor for Cindy Botterford Lee. Cindy was meeting another resident at the local gas station to pick up two children that were not dropped off by the bus. The first vehicle did not have car seats where Cindy's vehicle did. While at the gas station, a man approached and according to Cindy, opens her door and verbally berated her. Not wanting to endure further harassment, Cindy finished pumping her gas and left. Shortly after departing the gas station, Cindy was pulled over by Officer John Baker. The second officer on scene in the first video is the man at the gas station, later identified as Brooklyn Police Officer Charles Dutton, whom appears in his t-shirt and jeans. Let's take a look at this first video. Because you were copping an attitude with one of my officers. Is your officer on duty? Is he on duty? He's oh, wearing a Is he on duty? Brooklyn. Is mean, he, he on duty? He is okay. on duty. Listen I'm to not... what I'm saying. He's on duty 24-7. Okay. Just like I am. Okay. So, yes, he's technically on duty right now. Okay. Is there a reason why you pulled me over? Because you were having an attitude because you're... Because I wasn't talking to Can somebody. Can I finish what no, I'm saying? No, because if you don't pull me, if you're not pulling me over for some reason, I'm leaving. I'm not going to sit here and be harassed. Okay. Pull away. Okay. And Are you pulling charged. me over for a reason? Yes. What's the reason? Because your two children were in a, ba in a, fr in a car. That First of all, they're not my two children. Okay. Then why are they in your car? Because I'm taking them to their parents who don't have a vehicle. Okay. Because the bus didn't drop them off at their don't house. Don't an attitude with me. Well, you're asking me questions and you're accusing me of stuff that you don't even know. They're my two kids. They're not my two kids. Well, you're transporting them. Okay, that's right. So am I getting a ticket? Am I pulled over for any certain reason? Or may I go? If you don't mind, you're closer than I suggest you get a car seat for those children the next time they're in the other car. They're in a car seat. In the other car. Okay, thank you. Y'all have a nice day. Have a good day. You too. Was this a lawful stop? Is this a case of what happens when local law enforcement allows their authority and position to get to their heads? Is this an example of what happens when a f person wearing a uniform forgets how to be a human being first and a peace officer second? On January 31st, Cindy goes to the city hall to file a official complaint on Officer Dutton and Baker. Let's listen and watch and see what happens. Are you all both here, Ms. Emma? Yes, sir. Okay. I want to see if I can have a meeting with you. Uh, we're going to do it right here in front of all the video cameras okay. with audio. Um, I want to, I guess, talk to you about what happened with the officers yesterday. You want to talk to me about what happened to my officers? Mm -hmm. We're on video right now, and I'm going to record everything that ever happens with you ever okay. again because okay. what you have decide to put out on the streets. Mm -hmm. The female who was driving that car with those okay, two I wasn't children. In that car. Should... Can you tell me how he was talking to the counselor's office? Because I knew that he was going to cover up for his buddy. Okay, so lady, 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 this is I'm now over. Criminal trespass. You I'm leave now, or you're going to go to jail. Can you tell me who I could talk to? You've Please stepped outside here me. right now. I'm me. telling you to leave the building. You're making a disturbance. I'm telling you, do not touch Do me. it now, lady. Can you tell me who I could talk to for the counselor's office? Okay, thank you. Get over here, Dutton. Okay, thank you. Leave the building. You can I'm wait for the councilman on the out here. He okay, already fine. knows. Leave the building now. I'm waiting for her to hand me the number. I will give you the number. Step out of the building. Trust me, he's thank on you. his way. Leave the building. That's good. That's good. In the future, we will not have any mercy or any toleration for y'all's constant breaking of the law That's great. and blaming it on the police That's department. That's right. Leave the building. Come on. Come on. Do it now. Come on. No, I already have a, I already have a meeting with the news. Come on. Let's go. This is just more I can add to it. Knock your lights out, baby. I will.
Yep, I do. Is this the customer service we should expect from our government officials and public servants? Leave me a comment, let me know what you think. Please click like, hit subscribe, and set a notification for future videos. Thanks for watching.